Hello and welcome to the solution video for spicy question number 27. For this question we're going to need some coordinate axes and we're going to start by looking at triangle ABC which is formed by these three straight lines. The easiest thing to do is just draw those three straight lines or you could use algebra to find the crossing points. I'll start with y equals 2 which goes here, y equals 3x plus 17 which goes here, and y equals 3 take away 0.5x which goes here. We can now clearly see the points where these lines cross. We've got this first one here, which is at negative 4, 5. And we've got the next one here, which is at 2, 2. And the final one at negative 5, 2. So we've got the triangle, and we know the points of this triangle are A, B, and C. It doesn't matter how you label them, we'll just put on an A, a B, and a C. Next, we're told in the question that triangle ABC is enlarged with center 4, 6 to give triangle DEF. So let's mark on the center 4, 6. Now unfortunately we can't perform this enlargement because we're not told the scale factor of enlargement. We are told some other information though. We're told that triangle DEF is formed by the intersecting points of three lines, and we're given one of those lines. The line we're given is y equals 14, so let's mark that on. We can now see from the diagram that the centre is in between the two shapes, the object and the image. This means we must be dealing with a negative scale factor enlargement. So we know this shape is going to flip upside down. What we're going to do next is draw on some ray lines going from the points B and C through the center of enlargement. So if we do that with B first, it goes like this. And if we do that with C afterwards, it looks like this. Since we know the shape is going to flip upside down, the horizontal blue line there, y equals 14, must correspond to the line BC. So we now know where the points B and C are going to map to. It will be the intersection of the ray lines and the blue line. So these two points here. We just need to find one more point. Now if you look at the length of the line from B to C, and the length of the line between the two new points we found here, you can see it's doubled. So we now know the scale factor of enlargement is negative 2. The only point we haven't mapped is the point A, so if we draw a ray line from A through the centre of enlargement like this, then we know the point that A maps to must be on this line. Since it's a scale factor 2 enlargement, it's quite easy to see that it goes here, at the point 28. So we've now found the triangle DEF. If we now draw on some more lines connecting E and D and also D and F, the question just asks us to find the equations of those two lines. Let's start with the line that goes through E and D. You can clearly see the y-intercept of the line up here. That's at plus 18. We just need to find the gradient. So I'm going to pick two nice points and draw myself a gradient triangle like this. The vertical distance here is negative 3, and the horizontal distance is 6. So the gradient is negative 3 over 6, or negative 1 half. So we can write the equation of this line, it's y equals negative 1 half x, plus 18. Now let's look at the line connecting d and f. This time the intercept is not so obvious, it will go way off the bottom of my diagram. So I'm going to start with a gradient. I'll choose the gradient between these two points here. The horizontal distance is 2, the vertical distance is 6, so the gradient is 6 over 2, which is 3. So this line has equation y equals 3x plus c. I need to find this intercept C, so what I'm going to do is pick a point that's on the line. I'm going to go for the point D, which is at 28, and I'm going to substitute those values in. So 8, that's the y value, equals 3 lots of 20, plus C. 3 lots of 20 is 60, so if you rearrange this, you'll find that C is negative 52. So we can replace the C in the equation with negative 52, and there's your answers to the question. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it useful. Check out the one I think you should watch next and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos.